how to create and use nested sequence. Well, let's get hands on and see how to create and use nested sequence. Step number one, select your clips. Open your project in Premiere Pro in the timeline panel located at the bottom center of the screen. Select the clips you want to nest. Click and drag your mouse around the clips to highlight them. You can also hold the shift key to click each video clip individually to select multiple video clips. Step number two, nest the clips. Once your clips are selected, right click on any of the highlighted clips from the context menu that appears. Select nest. A dialog box will pop up prompting you to name your nested sequence. Enter a meaningful name that describes the content like scene one or interview clips, then click OK. Your selected clips will now be combined into a single nested sequence, which appears as one clip in the timeline. Step number three, apply effects to the nested sequence. Click on the nested sequence in the timeline to select it. Go to effects panel, which is typically located at the bottom left side of the screen. If you don't see it, you can enable it by going to window effects. Then browse through the list of effects or use the search bar at the top of the effects panel to find the effect you want to apply. For example, search for color correction or blur. Then once you've found your desired effect, drag it onto the nested sequence in the timeline. This will apply the effect to all the clips within the nested sequence. Step number four, edit the nested sequence. To make changes to the clips within the nested sequence, double click the nested sequence clip in the timeline. This will open the nested sequence in its own dedicated timeline. Then here, you can edit individual clips just like you would in the main timeline. You can cut, move, and apply effects to the individual clips within the nested sequence. After making your edits, return to the main sequence by clicking on the main sequence tab at the top of your timeline panel. Step number five, use nested sequence in your main project. Treat the nested sequence as a single clip in your main timeline. You can move it around, cut it, or apply additional effects to it. This helps keep your main timeline cleaner and more manageable, especially in complex projects with many layers. For example, if you have a complex scene with multiple video and audio layers, nest them to simplify your timeline. This makes it easier to navigate and make global adjustments. Another example, use nested sequences for different sections of your project, like separating interviews, B-roll, and special effects. These organizations help maintain a clear structure.